look at um, creating an article in a bit more depth and some of the other tools that might be useful when doing that. So as before, you go onto the little plus button or there's the pen button when you're in your admin dashboard. So if you go onto the plus and then create article, um, so you can create an article, this might be just to give people an update on the work you're doing, it might be a change of um, a change in direction or some new training you might have to offer or it um, could be an update or it could be a guest kind of article from one of your volunteers to share their experiences. It can be anything you like that will just build up that profile page that you've got and add to that content. Um, so I'm going to do something around gardening just as an example um, and then you can go into here so you can select an image that you want to be your um, the main banner image when people look um, and see, see the article so I'm going to go for this one for now um, and obviously you can upload your own images through the upload button here so then you can find your own database of pictures um, and then here you'll put your main information so and you could do like a top tips so there's just some more resources and this could also add to resources that you've got for volunteers potentially um, one feature that we do want to show you or a couple of features that might be beneficial so um, for example so based on gardening so UK gardening top tips you can link to websites from outside of this page as well so if I quickly just find UK Garden Top Tips, um, and we'll say this one. You can take the URL from the site and paste it. So you just copy the URL from the top of your screen, uh, your search bar, and then you could just paste it into here. So you can highlight the bit of text you want to link, and then there's these two um, paperclip looking things and you just paste the URL into that section and then save and now that will link directly through your article to that page so sometimes that can help with duplication and then another thing that we want to show um, is how to insert images so they are looking at making um, we are looking into how this feature can be a bit easier but for now um, it's useful just to see how it is so when you click on image it's going to ask you for a source of that image so what that means is it's needing to know where that image is stored basically. So if you've got the images downloaded onto your computer you'd have to go into that image and um, copy an image address but I'll show you just from um, a website for now. So obviously we're using Unsplash because they're copyright free images so just for example for, um, for some flowers. So you right click on it if you've, got that, if you've got that option and then it is copy image address and if you click copy image address and then come back into the doit.org then you can go onto that little picture button and where it says source you can just paste in the image address save and it will paste that image in to into the main body of the article so it might not be you might not need to have images in the main body of the article but if you do have some images then you can paste it in that way um let me just see if i've got another image that i could look at how you do it from a download Okay, so I have this image. Um, and you just need to be able to find how to copy the image. So this isn't actually downloaded to my computer. This is from another site like Unsplash. Um, okay, we'll leave it there for now. So that's how you take images off um, copyright free sites. Or if you've got images on your Facebook page or your website, for example, it should work the same way so let me go on to community action and Kay's website and just see if I can take those images in the same way and if not we will yeah so if I right click on that and um, the image that I want from my website I can go to copy image address and then if we go back into the do it and we go on to image and then source and save, yep, it'll paste the image in there. So that should hopefully make it a bit easier. So if you've got any images you want to take from your Facebook page or your website, then you can just paste those in that way. Um, we'll give you an update as and when um, things change and if they change, but any issues that you have around pasting images or information about articles, we can go over that some more. Um, and then these details, as you go further down the article page, so once the body's complete, 
Um, custom points isn't so relevant for now, um, but we can give you some more information when it becomes relevant. Um, you don't have to select any of these things, so what age group is the content suitable for? Um, you can leave that blank and it'll be suitable for anyone, or you can go 16 plus, obviously, maybe. If you're only offering volunteer roles for um, over 16 or 18 year olds, then do it that way. Um, obviously, publish settings, so publishing it to your site. So this is our um, test site that we've just made, just so we can show you some examples. And then you go to next. And then purpose, so depending what the article's around, um, you can select whatever's most relevant. So I could say environment's quite relevant for this, so parks and open spaces, wildlife, environment. And then I could say it's good for mind. So depending on what it is, um, what the outcome is, I suppose. So obviously this is just a general article just to inform people. So it might not be relevant for some of these. So planet could be more environmentally friendly if people don't get better at gardening or whatever's most relevant to you. And then you can go to preview article. Um, so you can adjust these things as you go. There'll still be the little blurb about your organisation that's always pinned on the bottom of articles and posts that you have. And then these are the um, areas of interest that we kind of just looked at. So this will mean that they come up, um, your article can come up on various different searches, which is quite a nice feature. Um, so that's a little bit more about how you create an article and also um, uploading images to articles. So I hope that's helpful. But um, as always, if you've got any issues, just get in touch with us. Thanks.